Venezuela President, Nicolas Maduro, has accused Donald Trump and the group of extremists around him of plotting to topple him in order to seize Venezuela's oil, and warned he risked transforming the South American country into a new Vietnam. In a four-minute Facebook video, published as Venezuela prepared for a day of fresh pro-opposition protests on Wednesday, Maduro claimed the leaders of the U.S. empire were conspiring to get their hands on our oil, just like they did in Iraq and in Libya. Unable to accuse Venezuela's government of stockpiling weapons of mass destruction, they were instead waging a media campaign of fake news to justify intervening in a country that boasts the world's biggest crude reserves, Maduro claimed. We will not allow a Vietnam in Latin America. If the U.S. intends to intervene against us they will get a Vietnam worse than they could have imaged. We do not allow violence. We are a peaceful people, Venezuela's embattled leftist leader added. I ask that Venezuela be respected and I ask for the support of the people of the U.S. so their ISNT a new Vietnam, least of all here in our America. In the video, Maduro painted himself as U.S. admirer who had visited Boston, Philadelphia, Baltimore, New York and Washington and wanted closer relations with the U.S. The United States is so much bigger than Donald Trump, so much bigger, he said. But Maduro looks unlikely to repair relations with the Trump White House, which has thrown its full weight behind his rival to the presidency, Juan Guaido. On Monday, Trump stepped up its battle against Maduro by announcing sweeping sanctions against the country's state-owned oil company, PDVSA. Maduro also said on Wednesday he was willing to negotiate with Guaido. I'm willing to sit down for talks with the opposition so that we could talk for the sake of Venezuela's peace and its future, he said. Maduro said the talks could be held with the mediation of other countries, naming Mexico, Uruguay, Bolivia, the Vatican and Russia. Venezuela's Supreme Court has imposed a travel ban and financial restrictions on Guaido, including freezing his bank accounts. Guaido, a 35-year-old former student leader and head of Venezuela's opposition-run National Assembly, has been in the forefront of a renewed attempt to force Maduro from power since last week when he declared himself Venezuela's rightful interim president in a daring challenge to the incumbent. Guaido has called a two-hour protest for Wednesday afternoon and a larger mobilization on Saturday. At noon on Wednesday, opponents of Maduro, who was elected in 2013 and again last May in disputed elections, have been urged to take to the streets holding white pieces of paper on which they should write their reasons for wanting Maduro out. They are being asked to post photographs of their protests on social media under the hashtag Todostanemos We all have reasons before singing the national anthem. 